close your eyes Get some rest Alright guys So we are getting very close to our after frost date and uh you know, a lot of my stuff in my greenhouses didn't grow really well, but I know there were a few things that I did wrong, so that's okay. Uh, what we're working on right now, uh, we've watered our garden. I wanted to show you my peas and how they're doing, and I think I've got amaranth growing up in my yard because I had amaranth planted there before, so I'm pretty sure this is what these are. But they're beautiful, whatever they are. And then my strawberries are getting their little flowers. So, anyway, I'm pretty sure it's amaranth. And it, it is. It's gorgeous. And you know what? I'm really excited because this is the first time I've ever had nasturtiums. So, I have a little nasturtium right there. There's another one over there, too. It's harder to see. So, I'm really excited to have nasturtiums. If you've never seen nasturtiums before, they are a sweet little plant that all the parts of the plant... I'm not sure about the roots, but everything above the ground I know is edible. And um, and they're great for helping cover your garden so that uh help keep weeds out and that kind of thing. So they're just a great thing to add to your garden. So over here my pea plants are doing fantastic. Like I said, I just have the sugar snap peas along here. They're doing so good. Over there I've got my blush pink snap peas. They taste okay. Uh, they're better if you pull the peas out of the pod. But my husband is getting, we're getting ready. We're getting the garden beds ready and uh, our garden beds have gotten a little bit out of control. Uh, you can see we have a beautiful weed garden going on. So we are digging the weeds out. Justin, come help. Go get a jacket then. Yeah, some pretty purple leaves. Yeah. So, yeah, just some ground cover. Well, this is just weed stuff. These are the easiest leaves to pull out. Good. Awesome. So, we'll get these all cleaned out. And in the next uh, couple weeks, we'll have some videos on planting. I did get some tomatoes that we're actually going to put into the ground tomorrow because we're not showing any more uh, frost over the next week or so. And uh, so I'm getting really excited for that. So we'll, we'll definitely have some tomatillos. We're going to have some marigolds, which are just to kind of help keep weeds out of the garden and bugs and that kind of thing. Um, I have a couple of tomato plants of my own. They're not very big, so we'll see what happens with them. Um, so yeah, we may have to go and buy a few things. Oh man, my, my melons are doing really great. And so we'll have tons of uh, plants for watermelon and the yellow melon and cantaloupe and honeydew and, and that sort of thing. And So that'll be awesome. Anyway, so that's the state of the garden today and what we're working on. Okay. I feel like my videos are so disjointed. We had started looking at the gardens and uh, there was stuff going on with the gardens. And I, today I wanted to show you what we got done. Uh, something I don't think I've talked about is the potatoes in the bucket that we're starting, that we're trying. We have, uh, my husband watched videos on growing potatoes in five gallon buckets and decided that we wanted to try that this year. And so far so good. Uh, we've got, this one has come up. Ooh, two of two sprouts have come up on this one, and we've got one. Got a sprout coming up there. I think that's the only one. Anyway, it's something we're gonna try if it works. It's something that we will continue to do and we'll do more of. So I'm really excited to be planting my own uh, potatoes. Uh, out front here, we did get our. Um, we got our tomato plants put in, my husband, my great husband. So we've got them right in the middle of all our peas. We've got several varieties that we've got planted in there. They were started, we bought them, 
from uh, the same place where I bought uh, my goat Dolly. Dolly uh, came from its... I'll find the name of it and I'll post it right here. Uh, anyway, she started a little homestead. Um, her first name's Claire and she has Lyme disease and so she and her parents are running a little homestead and selling things and working on making some money and, and doing stuff like that. And so she was selling these tomato plants, her and her mom, for two fifty dollars a piece and they were already like two feet tall. So I'm very excited to have tomatoes that are already started because mine did not work. I've got theories about that and I will talk about that on another video uh, about what's going on with, with the stuff that I've got here in my... Um, cold frames because I'm still learning if you guys haven't noticed uh, for those of you that watch me and go what is she doing I would love to hear your comments because I am still learning I'm not an expert on all of this and uh, and I'm just looking forward to being able to do great things in my garden as I continue to learn and I need help from community that's what's so great about doing these YouTube videos it provides community and community support from people who maybe have the experience of, of this kind of thing. Now, the last time I showed you, and it's, it might even be on this video, earlier on this video, I'm trying to remember. If it's not, I'll post that it wasn't. But my husband has gone through and he has tilled all of our garden beds. I'll put a before and after picture here because they are all clean and beautiful. So we are actually, if you can believe it, today is May 26th, and we are not to our last frost date yet. When you are in the high mountain desert, last frost date is after Memorial Day, or even after the end of May. And we do have, over this coming weekend, some freezing temperatures coming up. So we are gonna have to cover our tomatoes so we're trying to find out, we're trying to decide what the best way to do that is going to be uh, in order to make sure that um, our tomato plants don't die. Uh, because we're going to, it's not going to be extreme cold, but it, it's going to be 29 degrees, which is cold enough to kill your plants. So uh, I do have a few things here in the cold frames that are going to be planted and that are going to grow. We will get squash plants planted after Memorial Day, and we're just going to, I think we're going to seed those right into the ground. I'm actually debating on that because what I might do is plant them in some cups, just get them started and then in the house and then bring them out and plant them. So anyway, I wanted to show you what we'd been doing in the garden to finish off what, what I'd been videoing and... And sorry for the disjointedness, but we we're grateful that you're here and we're thankful for for you and for being part of our community and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Down, it's gonna be okay.